So there's a style of feet that don't really go anywhere. They're actually meant to keep an item in place. And that's what we're gonna talk about inside of this video. Many products actually need feet. They are small protrusions of plastic at the bottom of the part, which can make sure the item sits flat. It also improves the overall aesthetic of the part. Rather than having a big old block sitting down flat on the table, you can have it lifted up just a little bit. You might also have a functional application for this, where maybe you're putting it in a moist environment and the feet can lift it up so that water and liquids can flow underneath. So feet have a lot of applications, but people don't always design them correctly. They often are an afterthought, which is weird when they're so important in our normal day-to-day -day lives that we don't think about that when we're actually engineering them. So in this video, we're going through the actual design and more specifically about how to make them mass producible for 3D printing if you ever wanted to make 10,000 of a 3D printed part at a print farm like ours. So the very most basic version of feet are just cylinders extruded out of the bottom. A lot of people do this. It's a very common way of lifting the part up off of the ground just a little bit. But what almost everybody messes up is making these cylinders straight cylinders. You shouldn't do that. Very often if there are feet on the bottom of the part, you end up printing that part up on its edge so that the feet stick out the side. This makes sure that the feet are most uniform and you most certainly don't want the feet on the bottom of the part because then the whole bottom of the part would have to be supported for the little distance that the feet are lifting it up. That's kind of silly. So we're gonna print all of these parts on their side or at least on the diagonal. And we've talked about that in other videos. You can check that out over there of how to print on a diagonal. But the feet are sticking out, print it on the side. Okay, cool. But now they're an overhang if you just extrude them out the side. That's a terrible way of doing it. You don't wanna design features like that because now support is gonna be auto-generated. If you upload it to something like our Etsy plugin, you're gonna have support show up. It's gonna increase the cost of the part. Blech. It doesn't even look very good too because now you're gonna have the feet slightly deformed by the first little layer that sticks out in the thin air. It's all terrible. So make sure you chamfer them. Make sure there is a chamfer around the outer side. It doesn't hurt the aesthetic at all and make sure that you do not have any sort of overhangs. There you are, that's the most basic version of the feet. Now, not all feet are round. Sometimes you want them square. You might design the feet so that they actually control the part in certain directions. You might want it to slide in a direction, but not the side to side. Now, of course, you can do these through a circular pattern on the bottom, but again, make sure that you're chamfering them all of the time. However, if you have these flat kind of tab-like feet and you wanna make them long, make sure that you're rounding them off as much as possible to again, make sure that they do not create an overhang anywhere. This is the fundamental rule of designing feet. And when you have these features that are coming out the side of the part, make sure that you are rounding every single possible edge. People very often leave sharp corners within 3D prints. That is a mistake. Make sure that you fill at the edges of them. It radically improves quality, it improves print time, and it makes sure that the overall part is just more manufacturable because you don't have points of errors where there could be retraction points or anything else. So make sure that you're rounding all the edges and blending those feet as much as possible. Now there is one other version of feet that you can also use, which is less ideal because you're not able to get them all in a single print, but sometimes you want high friction feet and doing print in place isn't always possible. If you're printing out in PLA, it's gonna be pretty slick. So they're mainly acting as standoffs, not necessarily as points of friction. However, if you do want points of friction, you might wanna put some sort of adhesive feet on the bottom, little rubberized half hemispheres or tape or whatever it happens to be so that your product is able to sit stably in a location. Even with this, even though you might be gluing something onto the part, you don't wanna glue it onto just a side surface because there's less support of that. What you actually want to do is create small insets, inverse feet basically, for the feet to then go into. With these insets, you're able to have the same exact surface to mount to, but you're able to embed the adhered feet onto it. And these are a really good option for just creating a different way of assembly for the product. Normally this type of feature would be fairly expensive if you were like molding it, but it's free with 3D printing. So you can add these insets, but this only works if you're mass producing the part. It doesn't really work for print on demand because the feet can't be added after the part is printed out. So if you are using a print on demand option, you wanna use the designed feet, but if you are mass producing it and you want a part that sits stably on a surface, then you might wanna look at the adhered feet because then you can actually have a rubberized point of friction on the surface. So hopefully this covers all the ways of making feet for any sort of given product. They're a very small feature, but very often they're designed incorrectly because people just extrude them out the side and say, ah, it's gonna be fine. And they don't even apply something as simple as a chamfer to make sure that they don't turn into an overhang. But even the more fundamental thing that people miss is the fact that if you do put feet on the bottom of the part, you cannot print that part feet down on the bed. You have to print it on its side or diagonally. So check out all those videos if you wanna watch that and do bring up any other sort of features that you would like us to discuss how to design so that you can mass produce a part reliably and have a really good high quality 3D printed product.
Have a great day, everybody.